Hi everyone, welcome back for more. Let's play Dragon Age Awakening. More basement. As promised. Wait, did I come this way already? Uh, yeah, that's the way I came. So we don't want to go that way. Ghouls, huh? A lot of enemies here. And they're not really threatening. Even in this huge pack. There's not much threat here, really. And the sad. Another chest I can't unlock. I'm getting tired of those. He's rogue. Thing in here. Oh, thank the maker. Please let us out. I have no time for this. But, please. Hey, were you the one that sent the... No, she you She couldn't have shown weren't. us the courtesy of waiting a bit longer before becoming a ghoul. Now let's see. Stopping you, Augur. I've been letting you out. You're getting pretty badly hurt. More leveling up. Hey, Viridium. That might make Heron happy. Going. <laughs> you murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I, well, you hear the stories about you and the Wardens, but to see it firsthand. Let's get back to business. Right, you are, sir. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Would this cave in stop them if they return? This? Hardly. Give me a few dwarves and we could have her cleared in a week. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle in my stonecraft, we'll find a way. Let me know as soon as you clear the passage. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Let's go back to the keep. Of course. Something else here. Mage. 
Seneschal Veril is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. Any messages for me? Just give me a moment. No. Let's go ahead and drop off that viridium. You're back. You need anything? Yeah, I found an ore deposit. Oh, this will help a great deal. Viridium? Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. You'll have your guards. I'm in the better gear. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Heren, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what else is around here. Eh. That can wait. For now, let's go ahead and see what's going on up here. What do you want? I'm here to serve, Commander. Can you do anything to resupply our soldiers? I will do what can be done. But you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. That will be all, Mistress Woolsey. Very well, Commander. And you... Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. See, this I like. What do I need to know about them? Some of these Lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Isle of Amaranthine. Commander. Let's move on with this, shall we? Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine. As is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. Yeah, I don't trust I you. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck, or you, and so the ceremony or is Or any complete. of you. Long live the Warden Commander. Well, I guess we need to go mingle, huh? A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Yeah, I'm sure. Honor to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. What seems to be the problem? As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? I will take the matter under advisement. Thank you, my liege. Uh. What do you want? It's good to be all right. The bowing, the social climbers who do anything to get ahead. If you see any stray damsels in distress, send them my way. Regardless, I overheard something. Some nobles were gathered at the alcove. And this is relevant how? I couldn't hear much. Something, something must be dealt with. Something, something all in agreement. Not much to go on, I grant you. But they were being furtive, and I sensed they were trying to remain concealed from you. 
Did you catch any of their faces? Their names? No, I tried. Too much mingling. I believe some of these nobles seek a convenient end to a messy problem. The problem being you. I could paralyze them to search for evidence, but the Seneschal may have more diplomatic ideas. Very possible. Huh. Anyone else? Warden Commander. It's an honor to have you as our liege, Commander. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. I've heard of a conspiracy against me. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. Enders overheard some things. He didn't see their faces. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'd be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. Tell me about them. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. And what wouldn't you recommend? You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. And if anything untowards happens, well, you get the picture. This is a terribly Orlesian thing to do. Hostages as it is. If anyone moves against me, execute them. That worked quite well during the Orlesian occupation. Just don't expect the nobles to love you for it. Or do anything to help you unless forced. I don't need their love. I need their obedience. Do it. Make her have mercy on us. I'll arrange it, Commander. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, well, guess we have to deal with the farmland, huh? Let me know if huh? you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Who do I need to know here, anyway? There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Edelbrick said we're not defending the farmlands. Edelbrick speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. Hmm. The orders stand. The city must be protected. As you wish. You got more? Let me know if oh, you yeah. want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. The ceremony has gone off long enough, Seneschal. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. <sighs> well, with that lovely little piece of diplomacy out of the way, yeah, I think it's time to cut the video. So, when we return, we might actually get to visit Amaranthine. So until then, take care folks. See you later.